Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, we're going to do a short video on the new app, InstaFest, and a lot of YouTubers are doing this, so it's not a very original idea. I'm just doing a copycat, but... Uh, you know, I've been doing these uh, album countdowns lately, and I've done the years 2000 through 2003, and they include a lot of anthologies, so I've, I, I ran this InstaFest app, and it came up with a bunch of 21st century artists combined with 20th century artists, so it's kind of interesting, and on day one here, I would uh, probably, if I had the ability to rearrange a little bit, uh, we've got Tom Waits opening the show. I probably, oh, yeah, that probably would work. Spoon second, then Queens of the Stone Age, then P.J. Harvey, then Lou Reed. Uh, maybe I'd flip those two around. Van Morrison and John Cale, maybe flip those two around. Grateful Dead. And then I probably would pop in... Sonic Youth and then David Bowie and Radiohead. So the second day, Sly and the Family Stone and the Beatles opening, that doesn't make any sense. So I would have to move those up. So I would have somebody like, uh, yeah, maybe have Johnny Cash open up. Uh, his music is so different. Just have him open up and then have uh, maybe uh, Joan Armitrading on second, even though I really love her. And, uh, yeah, then maybe, uh, then maybe the super furry animals and, yeah, then let the rest of it run pretty much in order. But I would move Sly and the Family Stone and the Beatles, say, put them kind of where, um, oh, probably put Sly where, uh, Joan Armitrading is there and then pop the Beatles in as uh, oh probably the headliners right I mean how can you go on after the Beatles so and then the final day let's see we've got Lucinda Williams Coldplay Leonard Cohen Drive-By Truckers Black Keys Joe Jackson I think Joe Jackson as much as I love him I think he'd be a great opening act so I probably would put him at the beginning of the bill and then um, Robert Wyatt would have to go on a little earlier. He'd have to go on maybe before the kind of where Leonard Cohen's at here. And then uh, you'd have Prince and Bruce Springsteen, the White Stripes. Oh no, Warren Zevon have to. I've seen Warren Zevon twice. And uh, he's actually not that great of a live performer. So I, maybe I would have um, Joe Jackson and then Warren Zevon open and then pretty much let it run the rest of the way. I'd let Robert Plant headline, why not? I think he's great. So just a short video on my InstaFest. Uh, this is based on my last six months of play. And that's it. Um, uh, if you have any comments, let me know. Uh, and as we say here in beautiful Mexico, buen dia. Oh, and let me just add a little addendum. Let's just run through this real quick and I'll tell you who I've seen in concert. Sonic Youth, never. Radiohead, never. David Bowie, four times. Grateful Dead, once. John Cale, once. Van Morrison, twice. Lou Reed, once. And the rest of these, P.J. Harvey, Queens of the Stone Age, Spoon, and Tom Waits, never saw them. Uh, Bjork, I saw with the Sugar Cubes, but I never saw her when she went solo. Wilco, I've seen once. The Psychedelic Furs, twice. Todd Rundgren five times, Joan Armitrading twice, Captain Beefheart never, My Morning Jacket once, Johnny Cash never, Super Furry Animals never, Outcast, Beatles, Sly and the Family Stone never, Robert Plant once, Warren Zevon twice, The White Stripes never, Bruce Springsteen four times, Robert Wyatt never, Prince I got to see twice, uh, Joe Jackson, once. Black Keys, never. Drive-by Truckers, once. 
Leonard Cohen, Coldplay, and Lucinda Williams never. So there you go. Thanks.